Is the right to die as important as the right to live? Dr Death, Philip Nitschke, thinks so, and he's not alone. When I wake up in the morning, I think, damn it, I'm still here. <laughs> she may be laughing, but 77-year-old Mary is deadly serious. I have about 10 different illnesses that cause pain throughout my body and one that will be fatal. So a time will come when I will say, don't want to do this anymore. I've decided that this is time to die and a time to stay alive. At 87, Peter Arch Rowe is battling cancer. If it gets worse, well, then I have to make a decision. It sounds like you've made that decision. Yeah, I have, yeah. And I've let my children know too. Peter and Mary believe they deserve the right to die rather than end up in a nursing home. I wouldn't go in one. I've told my children, don't you ever put me in one. <laughs> I'll come back and haunt you. And I'm not going into a nursing home or anything like that. I've spoken to Elaine and we're all in agreement that when my time comes, I'll do something about it. That idea of having to leave your own house and go into a nursing home has always been a significant step, which many people don't welcome. And this is the man advising Peter and Mary on assisted dying, Dr Philip Nitschke, or Dr Death as he's been labelled. Dr Nitschke, you're always referred to as Dr Death. How does that sit with you? And I just say, well, uh, I don't care what you call me, as long as I get the chance to say what I think and you listen to the ideas, and so the names are irrelevant. I think he's a saint. I've seen people in such pain and I thought, there's no way I want to do that. It's an easy decision for you. Yeah, yeah, it is. The only thing is, uh, when, I, did I, when I decide to do it, Elaine said she won't stop me at all. So it's my decision. I don't want Peter ever to die. <laughs> Peter's wife, Elaine. You don't think that you will try and talk him out of it when the, when the time comes? No, I respect him too much to, to uh, try to talk him out of it. Elaine and Peter have been members of Dr Nitschke's Exit International Group for years and help organise workshops like this one on the Gold Coast, their biggest yet attended by more than 300 people. We're talking about two common inorganic salts. It's basically a how-to and how-not-to. Dr Nitschke's book is banned from sale in Australia and it is illegal to import some drugs he recommends, which has led to police questioning older Aussies who've apparently bought them after tip-offs from customs. This was police visiting, saying we, fit, we hear you're trying, actively trying or have succeeded in importing end-of-life drugs and we'd like you to hand them over and we'd also like to know that you're OK. We tell uh, people not to let the police in, talk to them at door, be polite and, and so on, but the, unless they've got a warrant in their hand, that they shouldn't let them through the door. You have to be a member of Exit International or pay to attend a workshop. The reason we do that is to, to, to head off this criticism. People say you're giving out dangerous information. You've got criticism for people being under the age of 50 and not terminally ill using your advice. What do you say about that? We do what we can and we feel pretty comfortable we're doing a good job. But we know there's been mistakes and we know there's been errors and we, we do what we can to, uh, to re restrict that. Dr Nitschke denies he's in it for the money but admits he's involved in developing this, a pod designed for people to die in using an odourless gas. When you lie back into that nice capsule um, and press a button, uh, you will rapidly and peacefully and perhaps some say quite euphorically, because it is a slightly intoxicating feeling, uh, die. If it works properly, I could do that as well. And it's a peaceful death. And when it comes to your family, have you told them of your decision that, mm. to choose a time? Yes, yes, they've known ever since I've decided. I've been open with them. Have you ever struggled with what you do? I'm very pleased to be involved in what I see as a cutting edge social issue. Dr Nitschke has been campaigning for 22 years to make assisted dying legal. Police have decided just giving advice isn't breaking the law. And now Victoria has legalised euthanasia under strict conditions, with Western Australia and Queensland expected to follow. How many people do you think you've assisted to kill themselves? 
to be thousands. It, it, there's a, the, it's, a, it's become the world's best-selling handbook on how to end your life. That's my book. Here in Victoria, the first terminally ill person has been given permission to have a medically assisted death. Authorities here won't discuss the case, confirming that the laws here are among the most conservative in the world. But the government expects 150 people a year will take advantage of the new system. The law in Victoria is just so restrictive, you have to be two weeks from dying. And that's not what I feel it should be. And what would you say here finally to those people who'd say, you shouldn't be able to do what you're planning to do? Walk in my shoes. Simple as that? Simple as that. Live with that pain? Yeah. And if you or someone you know needs help, there is support available. Contact Lifeline. The number is on your screen now, 13 That's 13